let's integrate Pega with WhatsApp. For that, we have three different stages. The first one, we have to register as a Meta developer and we have to complete the configurations there. And second stage, whatever the URL we receive after we configure the application in Meta developer with that URL, you have to run the connect rest wizard in Pega. So after the connect rest wizard is done, you'll have a data page created and that data page will use in the case type to send a message. So we do have three different stages here. So first one, register as Meta developer, you need to have a Facebook account. And after you have your Facebook ID and password, log into developers.facebook.com. So here in the browser, I have provided developers.facebook.com. Here we do have the My Apps tab over here. So click on that. So you'll get this screen. So Meta for Developers and Apps. So here we do have a button to create a new application. Click on that, create new app, select business. So here we do have business, select this, scroll down and click next. So on the next screen here, you have to provide the app name. So I'm giving here as Pega integration. And once you provide the name, and so here you will have your Gmail ID and then click on create app. Once you click on create app, it will ask for the password and you will have all these options. So basically, uh, Facebook is providing different APIs to integrate with its application. Say we have here <coughs> Instagram API, Messenger API to integrate with that particular applications. So at the, if you scroll down at the bottom of the screen, we do have the WhatsApp integration. Click on Setup. Okay. So here, create a business account. Click Continue. So here, in the next screen, we do have Start Using API. Click on that. So basically, here, in this screen, you will have your temporary access token and your phone ID and you will have your, uh, what we say, the URL where you have to integrate and your authorization bearer token. Okay. So first, what you have to do is you have to click on two and click on manage phone numbers list. And here you have to provide your WhatsApp number. You'll receive a verification code to your WhatsApp number. And here we have send message. So when we click on this, there would be a message sent. That's that would be a test message. You'll receive a message from this number confirming. So just reply anything so that it would be confirmed. So this is the mandatory step you have to do before we proceed ahead with the configuring the con connect rest. We are done registering as a meta developer. Now we'll go to the second stage to create the rest integration in Pega. For that, I'll log into Pega, click on configure, integration, connectors, create rest integration. Here we have to provide the name. So I'll provide as WhatsApp integration and we have to provide the endpoint URL over here. So where do we get the endpoint URL? In uh, developers facebook.com portal, we do have this 
section over here at the bottom of the screen copy it and paste it in the notepad and here we do have the endpoint URL copy this endpoint URL go to Pega Dev Studio and place the endpoint URL over here and in the endpoint URL we do have the phone ID so if we go to portal here we do have the phone number ID so which is hard coded into the endpoint URL so instead we can make it as a resource parameter so I'll give it as phone ID so I can pass the phone ID dynamically here and we have to pass the header if we go back to the same message we do have the authorization here and we do have the bearer token provided by the Facebook so copy this authorization and paste it over here in the headers click next and provide any of the resource name over here so I'll give it as whatsapp integration post okay and we'll be using the post method over here click next and add the rest response over here because based on the response the classes and the data model will get created here we do have the phone ID so where do we get the phone ID from go to uh, developers.facebook.com and here we do have the phone ID copy this phone ID and paste it over here and go to the notepad in the authorization we do have the bearer token here copy the bearer token and come here and paste it over here in the authorization field now we have the request we have to pass the JSON request over here so I have framed the JSON request so this would be the JSON request messaging product recipient type 2 2 is the phone number which you have added in the developers.facebook.com so here we have added this phone number so the same phone number we have to provide in the request so we can give any other phone numbers however we have to add it in the phone numbers list so from here whatever the phone numbers we have added here only to those numbers we can send the whatsapp message so currently I have added only one so I'll move back to Dev Studio copy the request message over here and paste it over here and then I'll click on run so here I have clicked on run and I have received the response so I'll copy the response here and I'll paste it somewhere else okay. and click on submit click on next which will have this integration classes and data layer which will be created automatically I'll click on create so in the back end Pega will create all the rules and here we'll complete the integration part creating the integration by using the endpoint URL provided by the Facebook now let's move to the uh, last stage configuring the data page in case type so we have done registering as a meta developer we are done uh, creating the rest integration in Pega by using the rest integration wizard and now we are going to configure the data page move to dev studio so this is the D, uh, D page we have which got created uh, by using the wizard and these are the classes which got created so here I'll open the request data transform so in the request data transform we do have the hello world which is the message and we do have the phone number to which phone number the message will be sent so I'll do a check out here I'll move to parameters and I'll add two parameter and I'll add message so I'll go to the data transform and I'll dynamically add those values here param dot message and here param dot two so I want to pass these messages or values dynamically so the same I'll do a check out here I'll go to parameters I'll add two 
and I'll add message and here I'll give the default value of phone ID so what we have over here so I'll copy this and I'll provide the default value okay and parameters so I'll pass the parameters dynamically Now I'll open one of the case type here, message, and I'll open the flow action. So in this flow action, in post processing, I'll add a data transform that would act as a post processing data transform and based on the to and message what we provide in the message case type that would be sent as a message so i've created a case type message so here i have to and text message so here i would provide the phone number and i would provide the message so based on the dynamic values provided here and when I click on create, so those would be sent as a message to the WhatsApp. So to do that, I'll add a data transform over here. So here in the data page, we do have request data transform. So I'll open the request data transform. I'll expand this update page. So here we do have the body. Body is the text message what we are going to send. And two is the mobile number. To which number we are going to send so here I have parameterized this uh, message and to and I've added in parameters so this I have done in the request data transform so same I've added it in the parameters over here to and message and in the phone ID I have defaulted the value of the phone ID from developers.pega.com so here I do have the phone ID so after this I have a case type created I have this case type and here in the first section I have added two fields to and text message so whenever I create this case so I do get the to and the text message two fields so I'll enter the number over here and I enter the message so in the post processing of the flow action I have created a data transform where I am calling this data page so from here the message would be sent dynamically to the whatsapp and here is the message which we have received in the whatsapp so from where have we received we have received it from the pega application so basically we can even send messages to other phone numbers however they have to be listed over here so click here manage phone numbers list and keep on adding the phone numbers to the phone numbers which we have added here only to those numbers we we will be able to send the messages at the moment.